The big issue for the Americans, of course, is the state and the party. Or, to put it in different terms, they have a, a belief that democracy is the hand of God and the Chinese don't believe in God, so democracy will never come to this country. Uh, so I think that they have a, a real problem uh, with that. So they don't believe that there is a process of a, a model of democracy which is suitable for the Chinese experience. And let me just tell you that when I look at the character of American democracy today, I don't think it's democratic at all. I think it's, it's a society gone quite bizarre where money dominates and people win elections simply by the expenditure of money. But that's a totally different issue. Every country has to define its own democratic process. And I, I have a confidence that in China it, uh, that process is taking place. I'm interested in the Chinese story. I'm not an expert on the Chinese story, but I'm interested. I want to hear what people have to say. So part of the Chinese dream is to redefine the character of the story of China, the narrative. But the story can be told many ways, many, many different ways. In the early part of the 19th century, there was one way of telling the world about the Chinese story. In the middle part of the 20th century, uh, after the founding of the People's Republic of China, there was another way of telling the st world the story of China after the reforms in the opening of China. It seems to me that the, uh, this year, uh, 2013, is the attempt to redefine the story of China in a unique kind of way. And the necessity for the world is to try to understand what that means in terms of the, the new narrative on China. What I see as the year 2013 being is the attempt by the new Chinese leadership to rebrand the, the Chinese brand and develop what I would call a new C-factor. A new C-factor can be very, very convincing to the world. And that's a definition of the new China, a new aesthetic. Mm -hmm.